Hey there, I'm sick. <laughs> and so is the add-on we're looking at today. It's probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen, create add-on-wise. So you know rotation, right? Create, rotation, they go hand in hand. We have a water reed right here, and if I give you water, it's gonna spin, baby, and we can use this to power everything we want with the create. What is it? Shaft, vertical gearbox, transport the rotation. Yeah, look at that, it's moving. So this is the basis of everything create mode. You want it to rotate, and then there's stress and stuff as well, but I, I won't get into that. So we have water wheels like this one, which is probably Probably the easiest thing to make. Then we have windmill bearings, which I would easily put on a second place. And then we have windmill bearings, which are also very simple to make, but you need to craft some sails, so you need some wool and stuff. But you know, you just place it out like this, right click it, and it's gonna start spinning. Very nice. And then we have the steam engines, which are sort of the end game create mode power source, I guess. But you see, all of these things, they lack one very important aspect, and that is the destruction of nature as we know it. <laughs> which is something I find very important. And so today I've downloaded Create Diesel Generators. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I know nothing about this stuff. I, well, I guess I know how to fill my car up with gas, but this, this means nothing to me. Oh, we compact seeds to get plant oil. That's kind of cool. How about biodiesel? How do we get that? We mix plant oil and ethanol. And then, of course, we have ethanol, which basin fermenting? We ferment sugarcane and bone meal, or sugar and bone meal, or apple and bone meal, or potato. What do you mean basin fermenting? Is that what the basin lid is for? Bro, I'm so confused. I thought this was going to be a small diesel generator. We just pump out diesel into every into nature, and then it'll be over. But I'm starting to think this won't be as easy as I initially thought. What is this. We have a basin here, and then we have a basin lid. What What do you do? Basin lids allow you to create ethanol. Give them some sugar and bone meals. Okay. And what happens? Alcohol. Oh, ethanol. <laughs> All right, and then you can pump it out. Okay. Do we need to have the lid? Oh, we can open and close. <laughs> Welcome to episode 50 million of Grian's build hacks. This is a toilet I just designed. All right, no, let's, let's, okay, wait. Sugar and bone meal. Let's see. Oh, I can hear bubbling. It's committing bubble. Do we need to have it closed? Yo, I'm very confused. Wait, let's pump this out. So they actually turned this into a sort of survival thing. I thought it was going to be incredibly overpowered, but all right, it's, it's looking... Oh, no. There we go. All right, so we should be pumping out all the ethanol that gets created in here. I shouldn't jump into this thing. I feel like that's a bad idea. I mean, we're just two steps away from moonshine in Create One Minecraft. I mean, it's it's it's, it's just bound to happen at this point. <gasps> it is pumping. Okay. All right. How do we use this in a in a in a diesel generator? It's a diesel engine and then a modular diesel engine. Okay. Destruction of mankind. We will kill everything. You see that horse over there? Yeah, gone. How does this work? It's got shafts on both sides, and I'm guessing we need to pump this because it's fluid, right? But it's got shafts on both sides that this, we won't be able to pump. Maybe it's on the bottom? Oh, that's a fluid pipe. But it's on the side. Wait, is it? Is it underneath? Yeah, it is. That is definitely the texture of a fluid pipe. Yeah, see, that's that's a fluid pipe texture. All right, so wait, do we get a pump and just pump it in? All right, uh, fluid tank, schmack, and then I guess we can just put ethanol into the fluid tank. And then, oh, it's moving! For a long time as well, that was just one bucket of ethanol. All right, so how much? We had one bucket of ethanol in here. I'm pretty sure one bucket. And that is giving us, well, I mean, a lot of rotation. It's still going. And stress-wise, how much stress? How much stress? 512. That's not much. What if I give you more ethanol? Is it gonna, it's gonna be a more or... No, it's just powering it. I need to test something. We get 512 stress units from one engine. So what if we just uh, do do do? This should. Oh no, it's pumping it out into into the. Oh oh no. We're gonna need pipes connecting to all of these. Pipe 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 pipe. We should have. Oh yeah. Five diesel engines going. This is loud. I can't even hear myself. I'm gonna have to. I, I, I'm. I'm gonna have to lower the volume for you because this is actually killing my ears. How much stress do we have? Two thousand five hundred and sixty. We need more chain drives. Give me chain drives. One, two, three, four, five chain drives. Diesel engines. Yes. What did it break? They're breaking! I think they're spinning in the wrong direction. Could that be it? As soon as it gets powered, it starts. Wait. If I give this ethanol, this one's gonna break as soon as it gets it. What? But right, I guess I'm gonna have to do like this then. That should work. Yeah, let's go. Okay, ethanol for the sound of the water wheel used to annoy me. That's nothing. All right, how much stress are we getting? 12,800 stress units. This is very compact and we can just expand it. We're getting 20,000 stress units now. I don't know. I don't know how many engines this is. All right, so how does one craft a diesel generator? That is... Oh. Okay, so we have some pistons, flint and steel, block of brass, fluid tank, fluid pipe, sturdy sheets. That is interesting. Sturdy sheets are used for train stuff. What does the modular engine do? Because it's got a smaller crafting recipe than the normal one. It looks smaller as well. Here's a normal diesel engine. Oh, here's a normal diesel engine and here's a modular diesel. Whoa. Oh, modular, it's going to go like, it's better for, for placing it. No. 
I don't understand. That is, yeah, they're pretty expensive, which makes a lot of sense because this is very powerful. I mean, as soon as you've made some of these and there's just an automatic sugarcane farm, you're done. This is literally it. And you know what? Let's do it. Let's automate the creation of diesel. I love this. You know, I'm, I'm starting to think maybe I should add this to my survival world. It would be pretty cool to have a big fat building with just a thousand diesel engines spinning around inside, powering everything. And I can sell my power to, to the, the inhabitants and then get rich. I always end up trying to get rich. There's uh... Okay, let's make a sugarcane farm. Uh, sugarcane grows on sand and gravel, right? Bro, it's been so long since I just even placed sugarcane. Or is it just if it's close to water? Just close to water. Okay, it doesn't matter if, if it's sand or gravel. <coughs> Still sick, by the way. Please subscribe. All right, we have some sugarcane here. And of course, we can farm this with, uh, you know, pistons and observers. That the, the way you do it in normal Minecraft. But we have create. We don't do that. No, no, no. We overcomplicate things. So I think we need to use a mechanical harvester. And then we need it to move over these things. And so for that, I'm going to be using a gantry carriage and a gantry shaft. I want some chassis on here. And then we need to make sure this doesn't connect to anything else. And now by powering this, we should make it move. Oh, yes. Oh, but it's not replanting them, though. Wait, I'm so dumb. No, no, no. We don't want to break it from the bottom. Jeez, what am I doing? Whew, good thing I thought of that. Ooh, this is how we do it. Okay, sugar canes like this. And if we start moving it, we should see the sugar cane go into the barrel. Or not. But is it not supposed to pick up the things it harvests? Or do we just not use harvesters for this? Is it a plow? Do we use a plow to get the, the sugar cane? I don't think so. What? I mean, I guess let's try it with a plow, but I don't think that's it. It should be the mechanical harvester. No, I know what it is. I know what it is. I think I've turned off game rule. Do tile drops. True. All right, this time it should work. Yeah, there we go. So whenever this sugar king grows, the smart observer will see it. It'll send off a signal to this one. And we want it to move the gantry. How many blocks? One, two, three, four, seven blocks. Please work. As soon as the sugar cane here grows. Yeah. It's working! And just like that, we have created a very nice looking sugarcane farm. So we need sugar and bone meal, right? So I'm thinking, here's my idea. Can you turn sugarcane into bone meal? If you use a, a, a oh, what's it called? No. Uh, compost, compost, compost. Yeah. Wait, if we get sugarcane and place sugarcane into a composter, that should... Yes! But then one of these... How do we do that, though? Can we use a funnel to make it go into a composter? Or is that not doable? Like, if I do this... Oh! <gasps> it looks like it's gonna work. And we tell it to extract only bone meal. Okay, and then we need to make sugar. Is there a, a good way to automatically craft that? Or do we just need a mechanical crafter? Wait. You can crush sugar cane to get sugar. Or you can mill it. You know what? Let's mill. Okay, let's uh, let's get ourselves some sugar cane here. It goes back. It's placed on the belt. And it should get split up in two. Yup. This one's working, and this one is not at all working. Sh okay, oh, we're getting sugar, but we're not getting our bone meal. Why do you not want to go into the composter? What do we need to do to make that work? Wait, I got a very overkill idea. I don't know if this is going to work. But what if we get a mechanical arm to pick up the sugar cane from here and then deposit it to the composter? <gasps> I'll power it over here because we already have rotation. And then we'll just get a chute or a smart chute going down from here back onto the mechanical well. So this way, this mechanical arm is going to pick up sugar cane from here, place it into the composter, and as soon as it fills up, this smart chute should hopefully extract bone meal? Maybe. Let's see what happens. It spits up. Mechanical arm picks it up. Oh, and you just went straight past. That's wrong. That's working. That's working. We just need this one to be a bit faster. Oh. oh. It's filling up. Please. Please work. Please tell me it works. No. It does not. It does not do it. Can we use a deployer for that, maybe? I mean, there has to be another way to do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> it worked, but it just it just placed it here. <sighs> I mean, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna make this. Next step is to use a fan <laughs> to get the phone wheel to the fan. Wait, does this work? It works! <laughs> All right, so obviously I'm using creative motors now, but this should be doable in survival. There's probably a smarter way to do it. I, I very much overcomplicated this. <laughs> the deployer going into the composter and everything. But hey, it, it's working. Uh, we're not getting any ethanol so far. We need way more sugar, way more bone meal. Probably several basins to just, you know, get as much as possible. But you know what? Let's say we did all of that. Let's say we have a big, very effective farm, bone meal, sugar, bunch of basins. If this thing just starts slowly filling up, that's a lot of power. This is a solid amount of power. Right, you know what? I'm going to go and for a while and then I'm gonna see if this is compatible on my create survival world. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe if you are feeling sad. That should help me reach 500k very fast.